Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Tango Fiesta by Split Milk Studios and Mastertronic. It is a fun little top-down shooter type game where we get thrown back into the 80s to tell the story of John Strong and why he is the greatest hero to ever walk the face of the planet. It's a fun game and, well, we're just going to hop in and get started playing it. So let's do it. We're going to actually play as John Strong, however, there are other people. McMillan, Miller, Bionic Cop, Conchita, and Dr. Hank. But, again, John Strong is who we're going to play as. This game has been on early access for about a year now, and it is finally fully released as of today. So we are going to grab the, basically the, what was it, the M4A1 or the RSA1. And the 12 gauge shotgun with a grenade, and we are going to begin our tale. Alright, and let's get started, shall we? Alright, as you see, those are our controls. If you guys want to memorize it, feel free. Based on a true story. I am the world's greatest action hero. I said this knowing you won't believe me. Hell, you've never even heard of me. For too long, my story has gone untold. I've toppled evil dictators, eliminated traitors, destroyed aliens, and crippled the shadiest of evil corporations. I've traveled through time, space, and possibly even dimensions. But of course, nobody believes a single word of it. Crap, I can't blame anybody but myself. I should have been more careful, more cautious. Turns out the most cunning evil I've ever faced lives in the Hollywood Hills. It's the only enemy against which I've ever fought and lost, but it's not over until I say it is. With your help, I might still have a chance. I'm getting too old for this crap and I'm not going out without a fight. It's time I set the record straight. I am John Strong and this is my story. Alright, so there we have it. We're going back to the 1980s, ladies and gentlemen. I'd been fighting righteous wars and crushing the enemies of my or of freedom for years, or of my freedom. Eh, eh, no. I was the very best at what I did, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. And I was due a long vacation. As usual, it didn't take long for work to kick the cocktail right out of my hand. John! John, are you there? Pick up! It's an emergency! General, I'm on holiday. Damn it, how the hell did you get my radio to just suddenly turn on? John, thank God you're there. Gordon Bennett has done the unthinkable. He's kidnapped the president's daughter, your fiance, and he's threatening to kill her unless we can capitulate to his demands. Sorry, I was like mid-word and I wasn't done yet. I'm like, what is that? Jenny, no! Damn that turncoat son of a bleep! What does he want? That you kill yourself. Then I'll do it, and afterwards I'll kill him even harder with my- Wait, what? Kill yourself. Yo, oh, sorry, kill Yusuf. The revolutionary who's been causing El Presidente so much trouble. He has aroused a rabble of peasants and is attempting to overthrow the despotic regime in power on Cubano Island. You kill him, they give her back to us. I have to give it to him. You you're the best man for the job. Wow, that guy is super grinny. Damn, I knew Gordon had it in for me ever since the incident at the barn dance. Leave it to me. I'm already there. I really hope that's a figure of speech. The barn dance bit? Oh, or the bit about being here. Both. Damn it, Stronger, you always were a tease. Sorry, boss. I have no idea what you're talking about. What I do know is that this, or is this, I'll kick Gordon's butt so hard he'll never square dance in a straight line again. John, that really makes no sense at all. And I'm serious, if you've been holidaying in an active war zone again, you're in serious tr- <laughs> The time for talk is over. It's action o'clock. Alright, so, back to the 80s, guys. Cubano Island, somewhere off the coast of South America, I think it said. I was pissed off, and I was, uh, hankering to bring a spanker in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First I had to locate that son of a bleep Gordon and fast. I hadn't got time for grasping at straws, Jack. Better grasp some throats instead. Alright, folks, it Operation is time. Seashell. Operation Seashell. Let's begin. 
We should attack start. that. And here we are, landing with our parachute and our guns ablazing. Alright, so I will hopefully get through this without getting murdered too badly. Again, I'm not the greatest at dodging bullets, as you saw right there. I decided to catch that one with my tummy. Bullet tummy action. Hashtag, oh, hashtag very bad grenade throw. Alright, so we're doing okay right now. Uh, the goal is actually to continually move forward. Like, shooting these guys are going to continuously respawn. So I want to always be heading toward my goal. Otherwise, I'm wasting away. In Margarita. No, uh, we're just wasting away here. Not really accomplishing what we need to. So, that being said, we must continue to the west. Well, I thought we did. There was an arrow to the west, wasn't there? Is there... Aha! Alright, we'll continue on. Yes, the arrow is right there now. I see it. I am no longer blinded by my amazing pectoral muscles. Eh? Eh? And my shirtless attitude. I may I may not shirk my duty, but I shirked my shirt. I don't know, guys. It's fine. Alright, we're going to catch that bullet with our face. Catch it with our teeth. As is our right as a superhero. A shirtless superhero at that. Eh? Eh? Grenade! Ow! Lots of explosions in the night. And grenade is no more. We have no more grenades. Alright, well, let's just take this down and see what the next level brings, shall we? Mission complete! Mission complete! Alright, oh, oh, we're still alive. Where's Gordon? Where's Chetty? Tell me where they're keeping her. I ain't saying crap strong. You should have asked me before you shot me. Urgh. It's it's generic goon. I like it. Mission complete. Yeah, you gotta always have that heavy uh, that heavy metal rock music in the background of every uh, single action scene. The guitars is going. Wow! It's perfect. All right. So we got a little bit of cash. We got some points and kills and shots and all sorts of stuff. And zero deaths, the most important part. I only knew one way to find Chenny. It was time to go to work. Strong style. And it ain't a job if you love it. Huh? What? Sure. Sooner or later, one of these goons is gonna give me what I wanted. It ain't a job if you love it? Oh, that's okay. I, I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I understand, man. Operation you love what you're doing. Show. So technically, it's not a job. I, I understand. Operation Seashell. We have to kill two more people. So you guys get the rough idea of what's going on. And as you see, uh, the difficulty has just spiked up a little tiny bit. I'm going to grab up some cash money slash gold and whatnot. And apparently eat quite a few more bullets than we did previously. Hopefully we find ourselves a medical supply ossifer that we can kill and get medical supplies from. There is no guarantee that this will happen. Alright, well, I missed that guy with my shotgun multiple times. There we go. He just had all sorts of goodies for me, didn't he? I want more power. I want more stock. Give it to me. Oh, oh, oh. Bullets, bullets, lots of bullets. Well, we didn't make it up to the gold in time. Alright, we're gonna reload. Okay, we're gonna head up on this way. Murdering quite a few individuals along the way. That dude's got a serious gun. You see that thing? That thing is craziness. Boom! Explosions, baby! That's what we're after here. Objective complete! Alright, continue on. Murdering people along the way. We're a little low on HP, but I think we'll be okay. I, I'm not sure if I threw my grenade or not. There really seems to be some hatred aimed directly toward me right now. Not a massive fan of that. We are reloading. We're going to hide behind the rock. And then come out. Guns are blazing, quite literally. We got ourselves some health. Oh my. That does look kind of menacing. Alright, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're just going to take down the building. Why? Because we know that that's all that really matters. Objective based gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Something that we've learned from our Dota 2 years. Mission complete. Mission complete. Objective based gaming. Ah! Where is she? Kiss my butt. 
I can't hear you. I'll say it a little louder. Go bleep yourself. That's funny. You're a funny guy. I like you. I think I'll kill you last. You already did. Urgh. And still, no sign of Bennett. The son of a bleep. Always did have a knack for dancing in and out of trouble. If I was going to catch him, I'd have to pop, lock, and load. All right. Pop, lock, and load indeed. Mission complete. All right, some more cash monies, and we'll continue on our little adventure here. I was getting close. I was pretty sure I'd killed everyone and destroyed everything I'd come across so far. So, he had to be running out of henchmen sometime. Good point. If I just kept pushing, eventually he'd have to expose himself to me. Eh. Operation Seashell. Alright, we're going to continue with Operation Seashell. She sells seashells by the seashore. Eh? Eh? No? Okay. Alright, we are on land, and there are many bad guys who want to kill us a lot with their faces and my face and stuff. It's quite unpleasant. There's lots of faces involved, you guys. It's totally fine. Alright, we're gonna try to kill the, uh, the helicopter first. Ah! I kinda got a little bit there. A little gorilla warfare. Eh? Eh? No. Alright. Oh, this thing shoots back. Well, that does kinda figure, doesn't it? Yeah, get grenaded, kid. Get grenaded. Ow. Well, get him, get him. Oh, what's this dude? Look at him. Ah, there's so many bullets. Where did the helicopter go? Oh, it's on the move. Oh, man. This thing is severely unhappy with me. All right, we're going to have to avoid a lot of gunfire, which I can't guarantee we'll be able to do. He is still moving. All good. We kind of needed you. Not 100% yet, but a little bit. All right, the helicopter is still moving. We are still trying to juke and jive and dodge and dip and just murder. All right, he's on the move again. Oh, we are getting shot quite profusely now. What is this dude? He's all glowy and shiny. All right, we killed him with 110 crit, I guess. It's like a 110 split, but without bowling. Come on, there it is. Yeah. Blue that guy, sky high, which doesn't make any sense because technically he crash landed after we shot him and he blew up, so technically it wasn't sky high. Oh boy. Alright. Explodey barrel, a little bit of uh, fun there. We shall hide behind the building and success. Yeah, baby. Let's get. Oh, let's get rid of some steam. Oh gosh. Okay. So here's a little uh, deviation from the norm. Kinda wish I had a a thing right now. No. Continue on, grab everything. Yes. Woo -hoo. And then they fell into my lap, the coordinates of Gordon's nefarious lair. It's always the last place you look. That son of a bleep was hiding on an island that was as tiny as his chance of survival. I'm coming for you, Bennett. All right. Sorry, guys. Every time I hear it, you just you just want to you know play the air guitar to it. That's just one of those things. Just one of those things. All right. I was ready for this fight, brother. <laughs> Had been for years. We went way back, but I wouldn't pull my punches, my bullets. All right, or my bullets. I didn't notice the or. Jenny, ew! Thank God you're here, John. Jenny, stay there, honey. I got some business to attend to. Well, isn't this nice? The two lovers united. Look at those eyebrows. You, you may have foiled my plans, John, but this ain't over yet. Shut up, you creep. I can't wait to see him smash your face in. Quiet, you. Come on, John. I'm not going to shoot you in your face. I'm going to shoot you between the first and second cervical vertebrae. Oh, okay. You're going to sever our spine. Nice. Between my who and my what? What? It's just crap, John. We're trained under the same guy. Come on, you should know this. It's by far the most effective way to kill you. Oh, okay. You better pray you don't balls up. Okay. 
Just shut up and die, John. All right, folks. After we do battle with with the big boss man here, I I feel like I'm getting getting shot or something. Oh anyway, wait, yeah, I was. After we kill the big boss man here, the plan is going to be to probably break off his first look. That way, I don't spoil all the wonderful fun stuff that awaits. Oh, he's right there. He seems super angry. Yeah. Gunfire and killing. All right, we got ourselves some medical supplies. Excellent. Here, catch a grenade. Oh, that probably didn't feel super good, did it? Oh, he's pulled out. Look at that giant knife he just pulled out. Oh, gosh, ammo. All right, we're going to reload. We're going to be over here. Oh, gosh. Gordon Bennett is down here. He is super unhappy. He's angry. He looks kind of like a, a cop with a buzz cut, you know? That's just kind of the, the way he decides to roll out on us. Oh gosh, that is a lot of bullets. Maybe, ow, being down here is not the play. Alright, we're gonna come over here. There was a medical supply officer over here somewhere. He seems to have disappeared. His life seems to be a little forked. Alright, we're gonna reload and we're gonna... Oh, I don't need a gun, John! I don't need a gun! Oh, okay. Oh, what is, what is he gonna hug me to death? What is he doing? Oh, he's super angry though, I can tell you that much. Super angry. I gotta get out of the water now. Oh, you ain't doing nothing, buddy. I ain't doing nothing. Nope. Alright. So there is a stamina. There is a way to sprint and try to avoid getting... Oh man, he's wrecking me quite badly. I need to get some distance from him. Oh good, we got, our, we got ourselves a med kit. Okay. Alright, he seems angry. He seems pretty unhappy that we exist. Oh gosh, he can break through buildings! Surprise! That is a kind of a shocker, I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to stick this right where it hurts, John! And then I'm going to twist it, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Okay. None of that sounds good for me. Oh gosh, dude, put some clothing on. What are you doing, man? Oh gosh, the size of that knife. He didn't have a knife before, he does now. Holy crap. Run like the wind. He's coming to kill you. Alright, we got ourselves some more health. Ah. Reload quicker. Alright. Still on the on the retreat. <sighs> reload, reload. For the love of Jiminy Cricket, guys! No, no, this is not the play. This is not what we want. No. Hey, at least I have pants on, dude. I'm not wearing the freaking speedo. Yeah. Go down, buddy. You always were second best, Gordon. But we made a great team, didn't we, John? All those good memories, John. I just want to hear you say it, John. Say <coughs> I'll, I'll never forget your dosado, and you know it. All right. So there you have it, folks. Huh? Why did you do it, Gordon? Was it for money, fame? Why, damn it! It was the queen, John. She <laughs> promised me fame and <coughs> personal photographer. Hold me, John, one last time. Well, that's not disturbing in any way, shape, or form. We made a great team, both on and off the battlefield. Creepy. I had to get revenge. I had to hunt down the queen and give her, <laughs> give her right royal butt a right royal whooping. All right, folks, and mission complete. Mission complete. And with that, I will leave you with this final thought. No, there's no final thoughts, guys. I think the game's a lot of fun, so I guess there's a final thought. 
I think it's very enjoyable. It's well done. It is a throwback to the 80s. You definitely can feel the, the Arnold vibe and everything else going through. I know my Arnold is pretty bad, but it's still a lot of fun to pretend and just have fun with horrible accents. Um, yeah, Tango Fiesta, guys. Great game. Just released officially today on Steam. You can pick it up. I will have the links down below as to where to get it. More information about the game, the developer, the publisher, and they also released, I believe it was free, they released a JRPG version of like the developers making this game. So I will include that link as well. You should check that out. It's kind of fun. It's a, it's a short little JRPG that's, well, apparently it had some pretty good reviews at first. I don't know if it stayed as good reviews. But either way, it's a free game that ties along with this. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this first look. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And look for me to stream this at some point, guys, in the next week or two. Because I think this game's a lot of fun, and I think a lot of people get a kick out of playing, or seeing me play it live on stream on Twitch for all of you. Anyhow, until the very next episode, or first look, or stream, or what have you, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.